What's going on guys? Today is Tuesday, September 3rd, 2024, and we have 59 days until we launch the Our Dreams platform to amateur athletes worldwide. We are in the 50s. Remember, we started this at 94 days. I I'm going to pat myself on the shoulder slash back for keeping it consistent, for making a video every single day. And I have 59 more days to make videos that are boring that you will never watch. <laughs> but we have 59 days before we launch the platform. We are in the 50s, guys. Man, time is just, time is flying. Time is flying. Crazy, crazy. Um, it is... 3.13 p.m. So I have already been working all day. Uh, customer discovery, uh, meetings, um, editing, working on my, my deck. You know, I, I've, been, I, I've been working. I've been working. I've been working. So uh, nothing new that's going on. I went to the Real Cartagena game last night. Man, really, really cool experience. I uh, look forward to going to more of those things. The more, listen, the more I engulf myself in this place, the more I love it. The more I love it, the more I, I, I want, you know, my, my family and everything to come experience this with me in due time, though. Uh, they won, which is always a good thing. You know, you know, when, you know, the team that you go see they win that's always a good thing so yeah uh but just doing this intro i'll i'll put some of the customer discovery meetings into this video as well uh, i'm going to go watch some basketball a little bit later not gonna play and um yeah yeah 59 days man 59 days I, I, I'm, I'm just blown away. I'm just blown away by, by this process. And like I said, like, I'm really proud of myself for being consistent in doing this every single day, no matter what, as far as making a video, even when it has, you know, some videos might got seven views, but keeping it consistent in doing it and documenting this whole thing. So, uh, big ups to me shit sometimes you got to big up yourself or whatever for real for real you know you got to be you got to be your, your 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 own your own biggest cheerleader for real for real so uh that's all i got to say uh on this this intro thank you guys for watching i want to thank anybody that tunes into this journey and um hopefully the videos will get better but for right now it's the same format because our main goal is to launch this platform to support 1 million dreamers um, and build a really, really great company that's going to make impact in the world. So that's all I have for today. Peace, guys, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, so we're doing a customer discovery meeting Man, thanks for take thanks for taking the time out to uh, to talk to me. So no, yeah, he's he's twelve. Okay. Uh, he's been playing uh, tackle football. This is his fourth season. Um, we do we do flag football as well. Uh, he plays for uh, a, a youth league, and he also plays for the high school now. Uh, this is the second year on modified. Okay. Uh, Flag football the past I think seven years. Flat okay, so flat flag football seven years now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And he's also this is gonna be his third year in basketball when that starts up in November. Nice, nice. T tell me tell me about some of the downs. When he first got to the team, nobody really knew who he was. Um, he excelled in the mini camp and everything like that, but didn't get much playing time. Um, due to the coaches knowing the other kids, trusting them more. Mm -hmm. uh, but when he did it, when he did go in there, um, he scored.
scored touchdowns and did really good. We got some good highlights of them. And um, they ended up winning the championship that year. Um, so I figured it was just a learning year for him. The next year, he didn't really get a shot either. Mm-hmm. Um, I felt the coaching wasn't was overlooking him as well. And then uh, last year, he got his shot, and uh, he did real good. So we were real happy with last year. This year, we're kind of just seeing how it goes. We won our first game. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's been ups and downs. You know, some days you don't play good. Some days you don't practice good. Yeah. Um, some days you can do things better than you're doing. Or some days you just did really great. Mm-hmm. You know, and I let them know about it. So. When Jaden started, were you guys like taking videos of of him? Yes, I have uh, always been that way. You know, with you know, I like to create memories. Okay. Uh, um, you know, I'm I was the team uh, videographer last year. Okay. Um, like really in depth to it, and I would send that iCloud link to the coaches, and you know, we had actually I was the, I was the videographer for two years, so we would he would say, hey, do you got Lockport's. Uh, video from last year uh, when we played Lockport. And I'm like, sure, boom, here's the link. There's all 50-some plays or whatever that we ran. And they were able to utilize this videotaping of, you know, the game. And they pretty much knew their whole entire playbook from it. And it was really good. Um, as far as, like, on for Jaden, you know, it's I do music and stuff like that. And I know about archiving and hard drives and how they can fail and how and how, you know, an S- SD card can break down, so you got to have multiple copies of it. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But, yeah, I, you know, I have all of his highlights, all of his, you know, I take many videos, hopefully uh, later on in the future. Not that he doesn't appreciate it now, but, you know, he can, you know, I wish I had, you know, growing up had all my highlights, you know, and I don't, unfortunately. It's just all... <laughs> and I hyped him up or something. It might have been a, it might have been a thirty-yard run, but it was really a ten-yard run, you know. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing today, man? I'm good. So I'm well, man. I'm well. Thanks for taking this, uh, this time to talk to me about youth sports. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, do, you, do you have a? Do you have any like uh, uh, kids that's playing right now? I do. I have two boys. I have my oldest, who's 12 years old, and I have a young boy that's uh, eight years old, my youngest, who plays as well. And they, they're just uh, they're football players? They're football players. One of them is basketball players. They're both baseball players. And, yeah, they, they play multi, multi-sports. Okay, okay. And uh, did you play? I played football. I ran track. That's all I did. <laughs> Okay. And then what what level did you did you play high school, college? I played uh obviously little league. I played high school and I did play college as well. Okay. Okay. Uh what what position what position did you play? In high school I was a running back and a linebacker. In college I transitioned to safety. Tell me about uh your experience like supporting your your sons in sports, like from when they started to where they are, where they are now, man, it's 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 been probably to me the single most. I'm not gonna say the single most, but one of the biggest joys I would say in my life because, and, and not and not because they're they're good because I see the progression, and I see the change of attitude. I see the change of work ethic and wanting to get better, and I feel like those traits could translate into real life. You know, when you when you're faced with certain obstacles, you're like, okay, I'm not giving up. I'm fighting through it. You know what I mean? I'm fighting through adversity. So you know, yeah, it's 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 amazing, and I, and I feel like they're they're getting those and learning those traits right now, to where they can, you know, adapt a little bit better. You know, once once they once they get a little older and and, and figure it out and, and bring it together. As far as your sons, when they started, you know, you said seven years ago, were you documenting, taking video of them? I do. I do. My wife, um, my wife kind of videos pretty much every game they got. Like, and she come home, you know, she show me the clips uh, and I, I go over them, you know, for for um, gameplay purposes to teach them 
different things, what they may have done wrong, what they can do better, you know, just teach tape pretty much. But, you know, she's excited as well. She loves, she loves doing it. And we've seen the progression over the years um, of them and in, in, in sports because of how they were nurtured and supported. Right. That's, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a huge thing. Do you guys, do you guys film some of like, like when they're training and stuff like that? Train, oh, absolutely. Um, trainings for me, like I said, I'm I'm pretty fortunate. So I'm able to get my son's trainings like on the off season and stuff like that, speed training, batting practice, you know, everything. I, I can do that for my boys. And I also, some of the kids who I develop relationships over the years, um, another kid that's with my youngest son. Um, his name is Caden, and I kind of took on a uncle figure to him, and he goes with my son everywhere. Like, yeah, I, listen, I, I love, I love to, hear, I love to hear these stories, man. I really do, I, especially like, I love to hear that story about that kid that came back and apologized, man. That's uh, that's uh, that's, uh, that's such that's such a dope story. That's such a dope story. Last couple of years, uh, doing the same exact thing, like trainings with our son, and he pretty much was on the same. Oh man, please, man. Yeah, send a referral for me, yo, so I can talk, I can have the same conversation with him, man. I, I would love that. I would... Hey, hey. Okay, man, sit, listen, sit, send, send them my way, man. I would love to set up, some, you know, set up, set up the same thing where I can talk to them. Uh, about you know about what I'm about what I want to do. I think you know it fits. Uh, I definitely want to do. I, I think they, they would have no problem. 